Right, we are back again, and hopefully I won't screw this up like I have so many times in the past. There's a lot of detail in this servo skill. Yes. I don't even know what I'm doing with that. Right, so you keep walking, like, do you stop at any point or do you just keep walking until you find something? It's been roughly 12 hours now that you've been wandering around the forest. Yeah, I'll be asking to stop. Yeah, I think we should stop. Yeah, it's no good if the bodyguard can't do anything, so. And yeah, as I said, at this point, it's pitch black. They can't see anything. Like, and the only light that they have, light source that they have, are the servo skulls that are flying about and lighting the things up because they don't have the the um, photo lenses that you have. So you come into a clearing. Um, and there is a small pond, I guess, would be the word. Um, it's probably a couple of hundred meters uh, round, and there are uh, some stones and fallen trees in this clearing. And as I said, it's pitch black. And the sky has a very dim purple tint to it but it nothing that would cast any light um what you can do is all of you can give me an awareness thing Mudig, to see if you notice anything uh, threatening with this clearing by the way i would like to throw a, a stone in the pond just to see if there's any reaction all right yeah, give me an awareness, uh, as well as throw the stone. I need to bump up awareness. Did you all add the uh, minus 10 for fatigue for those who I you? Did. Uh, I did not, I forgot. My red oh. shit shirts are shit. Yeah, we call them red shits from now. You should really see a doctor about that. Are we bound to have someone who calls himself a chief chirurgeon on the ship? By the way, the, the one with the red nose is the ballistic one. Can we call him Rudolph? I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> All right. Um... Damn, that's a lot of fails. So, yeah, as you're walking around the clearing, uh, scanning the area, uh, Macarius, you do find a a small cave entrance uh, that are almost hidden, uh, or almost completely hidden in the ground behind one of the stones. Uh, 
Um, so it's hidden by a few stones. Yeah, it hid them from plain sight. Like right. it's like you wouldn't ob unless you went behind the stones, you wouldn't see it basically. Okay. Yep. Got a cave over here. Um, might be a good idea to see what's inside. Camp there a bit, you know. Use it as a bit of safety. But then again, it could go deep. Real deep. Um, Varus, do you look at the pond as uh, Hagrin threw the stone in it? I mean, probably, yeah. All right. Yeah, with that role, I say you you do notice that the water tends to ripple a bit more than usual after a stone is thrown into it. I uh, scan for biosignatures. How do you scan? Like, what? I uh, use my uh, auger array. It's a tech use. All right, do the thing. With a 50 meter range. It is blocked by like uh, thick walls and stuff though. Yeah, you do get it. So you do notice that there is some form of life sign. And this is the first active life sign that you have seen so far on this planet since you made life. You probably have seen signs as you walked around in the forest, but your uh, beloved red shirts were too loud, so they scared off anything living as you walked. But you, there, you do notice that there is something in the pond. I detect life signs in the water. Perhaps we should go into the cave. Um, I'll drag the two front people with me, and we will go and look into the cave. Uh, Macarius, you wouldn't happen to have grenades with you, would you? No, I do not. No. Do you? No, unfortunately I don't. Come on now, how are you going to take a trophy if you blow it up? Well, you see, if you cause an explosion underwater, it only bursts, uh, bursts the swimming bubbles of uh, fish and similar creatures. Otherwise, they are pretty much still intact. You are applying Terran logic here. We don't know how yes. this thing operates. Also, it might be kind of fragile. Perhaps. However, how are we going to look for it otherwise? I don't think we're going to go snorkeling anytime soon here. But yeah, we go to the cave and if it if it comes up, if it's hungry or whatever. Yeah, sure. Right, yes, so... Yeah, I should go over to the cave. Uh, the black circle in the uh, teal uh, thingamajig, that's where you detected a life sign in the pond. I'm gonna have my uh, my uh... server skull? Yeah, my, my uh, tech you server skull fly about like like uh, maybe three meters above the water and just kind of have it look down. All right. Yeah, your server skull looks down on the thing. I just have it hover a bit closer to the surface. See if it, anything happens. Yeah, it hovers a bit closer to the surface and the the gravitational field underneath caused the water to ripple a bit. Oh, 
I uh, send it back. All right. Yeah, it, yeah. It, the pond is quite deep, actually. Uh, pretty sharp edges around it, and it's probably like 50, 50 or so meters deep. Fuck it, I'm gonna take out my auto gun, aim it at the point where you detected the life sign and go full auto, just to see if I can attract its attention. Excellent, go for it. I pull out my uh, bolt gun at this point. Uh, how would I even roll for that? Because I'm basically just aiming at the water surface. Would I even know, uh, need to roll for that? Yeah, you would. Uh... You just I'm roll. You just roll a normal attack roll with the full auto thing. Really. Uh, wait. How is that five? Yeah, that's wrong. The yeah, sorry, I don't actually know what to click here for the roll. That makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, we should probably ignore the R button on the damage block, so you just use the ones for name and damage. The name is for to hit, and damage is to hit. Uh, damage. Ah, okay, so it's name. Full. What's, what, what's that even? Full auto is plus twenty. Um, probably up. Wow, I rolled a hundred. Nice. So That's a jam. <laughs> yeah, your uh, your your um, auto gun jams. You just hear a clicking sound, and no bullets fly from it. Well, since I basically I'm not pressed for time here, I'm just gonna unjam it, and do it again. What is unjam again? Uh, uh, take... Successful ballistic skill test. Combat yeah, yeah. fool. Jesus. Um, Macarius rolled me an awareness at plus twenty. Actually, everyone can do can roll me an awareness, but Macarius, you get a plus twenty. I'm gonna reroll that. I'm not. I do wish I would have left me some fate points. Right. Various. Uh, between the. the frantic shooting from the. crazed Hagrin and his cursing at the machine spirit of the his autogun that's currently yammed you do hear a rather disturbing sound coming from the cave did you hear that i believe there is something in that cave right yeah okay. it's called my arch militant I say innocently. Well, let's go check it out. And I just fling my champed uh, auto gun back over my shoulder and take out my hell gun again. Uh, hell pistol, I mean. How high are these rocks outside the cave? Probably four meters, I guess, give or take, varying in size. Right, okay. Uh, Akron, do you look behind at the pond as you move away? Or do you just casually ignore it? Uh, here's the thing. Did I actually get any shots off or did it instantly jam? You probably got a couple of shots off and then it jammed like mid. mid yeah, then I, would, then I would still be looking if there's any reaction to the shots. All right. Uh, after a few moments, just as you're about to... Uh, after you've done messing with your, uh, probably as you, just as you clear out the yam and you sling it over your shoulder to go back to the cave, you do see a rather large fish-like creature just sort of belly up. Yes. Um, okay. I go back and what I do is 
I take the from my uh, uh, what's it called from my drop harness. I pull out the I pull out some of this uh, the wire with the grapple, and I just try to throw it at the fish and try to kind of like pull it towards me. All right. So you throw the the line out, trying to grapple the fish. And it lands in the water with a splash. Uh, Icarius, are you in the cave at this point, or are you still going down? I've entered the cave, going down slowly with uh, two red shirts behind me. All right. You do hear the shots uh, ring out uh, behind you at the pond, where your crazed uh, uh, Seneschal is uh, shooting the water. I can never take him anywhere. Pretty much a blanket statement from the whole command crew, really. Yeah, you do. Uh, you do uh, get the fish, uh, fish-like creature, and it takes some time because it's quite heavy. But you do manage to drag it, drag it up on the shore. All right. Yeah, just drag it like far away and, uh, enough that it won't slip back in. And I just want to take a quick look at it, considering that I'm not really very well versed with biology and if I don't see anything special I'm gonna head to the cave with the rest all right would that be uh awareness yeah it would be awareness yeah I I can't make heads or tails of it. No, it just looks like a a, a large, strangely shaped fish. All right. Well, I, we can take another look at it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, as you turn around to walk back to the cave, you do notice. I guess every one of you hear this. Um, there is a crashing sound from the forest to the west. Crashing Did we rile the up the natives? Is this, is this not Jurassic Park, but Jurassic World? I'll get my kite. If it is, then I hope we can tame some of them. And create a dinosaur rough, rough rider regiment. <sighs> they exist. Yeah, I know, but I want one personally. Servo Rex? Well, that sort of takes some of the fun out of it, doesn't it? Just... I want the Servo Rex. Or Servosaur? Yeah, Servosaur. Beep boop, roar. Cyber soar. Or is this an Eldar Exodite world and we run into space elves riding space dinosaurs? As you double you need to make Exodite models. As you turn around to head back to the cave, you hear the crashing sound of um, what sounds like a tree getting knocked down. And do you hesitate or do you start moving towards the cave? Uh, did it sound close? Uh, hard to tell. Uh, like, I mean, if it's not like right at the edge of the clearing, I'm no, just you, gonna... you, you didn't see anything, but you did notice the noticeable crash. 
Yeah, like if it's not that close that it's an immediate threat, I'm just gonna throw a glance in its direction and then start moving back to the cave. Yeah, as soon as you turn around and, and start taking a step, you feel this very sharp pain in your... Um... Al, help me out. What would a 71 be for body part? A leg. Uh, yeah, I think Left seven. Leg. Yeah, seventy is body. So anything after that is like. Yeah, it says on the character sheet what it was. Oh yeah, it's a uh, armor tracker. Seventy-one left leg. So as you turn around, you feel this sharp pain in your left leg. Okay, uh, well, I look down at my leg to see what's happening. You see a stinger from the fish and the back part of the fish put sitting uh, firmly grafted in your leg. All right, uh, I have pistol the fish. Or do I do my server skill see this? Yeah, you probably would pick it out. And yeah, you take 10 damage and you reduce that by armor and toughness. It has doesn't have any yep. pen. All right, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> deal 15 damage to the fish with pen 7. Bad fish. Yeah, it's dead. It has 15 wounds and 4 toughness, so you kill it. Alright, I blow the smoke off the barrel of the gun, and then I pull the stinger out of my skin. And I keep the stinger. What's your armor? Uh, my armor is Sino Mesh Armor, which gives free armor, and I have free toughness. So, six total. Yep, so I took four damage. Excellent. So, note that on the character sheet. And the fish it's is a... royally dead. You. Well, limping a bit and cursing about the pain, and wondering if... This might, in some way, be poisonous. I start uh, limping over to the rest of the group. And uh, you did shoot it with a help pistol, right? Yep. Yeah, everyone would hear this now, because you made so much bloody noise that from below the cave, you just hear a massive, deafening roar of unrivaled fury. Don't care. Pushing down in. Excellent. I just look at him and say uh, to the microbead, Hey, Kryn? It's fine. It's fine. Probably poisoned, but I'm used to worse. Wait, so we have heard crashing noises to the west and roaring coming from the cave. Yep. Yep. But you've got I'll to remember move is there um, then. Bigger things knock trees down, whereas roaring in a tunnel could be the smallest thing ever. You hope. Also Flawless logic. Also trophies. Let's go get yes. some. Wait for me. I should have stayed in the ship. Yeah, I rush uh, after Macarius. I want to catch up with him, so I'm going down there as fast as I can. The 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 red shirts are basically around the rocks, using them as cover, keeping an eye out. They can see.
Yeah, I'm heading in as well with my thermal skulls. Sorry, what did you do? Where, uh, where is? I'm heading in as well with both my thermal skulls. All right. So, are all of you in the tunnel now or cave? Uh, uh, I'm outside it. All right. Give me an awareness test since you're outside. Yay, another thing to fail again. Oh, for a change, you do not fail. Do you have the best perception? Yeah, in the last like three or four times you did awareness, I failed. Yeah, you... It's only 60 with a minus 10. Yeah, you do see in the distance now with your... Um, with your... Uh, what the hell is it called? Photo lenses that in the tree line there are some avian creatures sitting on the tree branches staring at you. How far away? About... What's the range of a photo lens, by the way? Does it say... It just says it gives you the dark sight trait, so you can see in the dark with no penalties. Alright, then I guess that doesn't have a range, does it? No, uh, it's a, your it says that you see as well as you would in daylight. Yeah, probably 100 meters away from uh, meters. from where you are. There, There's a flock of them, maybe like 10, 10, 12. Are they big? Uh... Probably like uh, child size with wingspan. Do they have talents? It would be a bit hard to pick out. Or actually, yeah. with that role, yeah, they do appear to have talents and sharp beaks. Okay. I will. Pass that on to the rest of the guys, and I've got bird things out here. Maybe get at least as far into the cave that your head is covered. Those things might be able to drag you off if multiple of them grab you at the same time. So, yeah, I'm not flying after you. So, get in here. One of the birds uh, suddenly starts flapping its wing and, and heading towards you. I want to shoot it. Excellent. Yeah, you <laughs> go for it. Okay, so do I have time to aim as well? Yeah, you can take a half action and aim. Okay. Which weapon are you using? My Archaeotech class pistol. What's the range? 90 meters. Yeah, this would be... Yeah, it would be normal range. Yeah. And minus... 20 for size or minus 10 for size? I can never remember this. It's uh, one, one step below normal. Then it's negative 10. Negative yeah, negative 10. 10. Okay. So... Aims 10. A single shot plus ten in this as well? No, it's plus zero. It's plus zero, okay. So it's twenty. Uh it's just a straight ballistic skill then. Yay. I'll shoot it. Excellent. Roll your damage. There you go. Would you like me to ah. come from the crit? That's not... That's not right. No. How... Mm. I th did something weird like that for me as well. Like, my roll was 10 plus 4 plus 1, and then it showed just 1 plus 4 plus 1 as well, for some reason. It's fucking weird, man. It shows it, it the dice like twice. It looks like it's tearing, but I haven't got it checked. 
Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, it rules for tearing, but since you don't have tearing, it uh, it always does the first result. But... So your actual rule was two. If you okay. had tearing, it would have been a ten. Oh, I see. Yeah, and because how roll twenty works, since it is a ten in there, it shows it as green yeah. anyway. Yeah, okay. so that's why. So let's see, twenty-three is the left arm, six damage to the left wing. What's the pen? Two. Pen two. All right. Yeah, it tumbles to the ground and cawing at you. Uh, yeah. He seems pretty upset at this point. And I would hope so. And one of the others takes flight as well. F flying towards you or in your general direction. I will keep shooting at them if they keep coming at me. Oh dear. Orion, stop playing with the wildlife and get in here. You said you wanted trophies. They're small trophies. We've got a bigger one in here. There's lots of them, though. Look, Torian, there's probably hundreds of those things. We can hunt them later. I don't want you to get dragged off into the sky in the middle of the night when our security personnel can't see and we can't follow you. Oh, come out here and shoot I them. send out my ballistic. Uh, I was going out there. All right. Uh, I I rush back out as well. I can't just <laughs> leave him there doing this alone. I head deep and further into the cave with two of the red shirts. Actually, no. I'm I'm following Macarius because I want the big trophy. Roll me awareness. Who? Well, anyone in the cave. Paranoia. Here we go. So am I just being left outside? Yeah, you got well, my buddy with choice. you. Yeah. You got a few security as well. Can't see. Yeah, the second role was security for me, because I keep forgetting to change. Do you have the... Anyone are you fatigued? Nope. nope. Well, I am, but I fail anyway. The security is, but... Yeah, shit. All right, yeah, you do notice the roaring is coming louder and louder at this point. And you do hear footsteps coming from the tunnel. All right, I will then ready a weapon, aiming it in front for whatever comes. Are you standing still or are you still moving on? I would have taken a knee. All right, I move beside you. Uh, still uh, with my help is loud and I do the same and I would like to try to be concealed if I may roll for that yeah let's do one thing at a time because there is a couple of different things going on right now yeah um, initiative is the easiest way to do this anyway mm-hmm Space chicken. Oh, it's bound to be tasted then, at least. Oh, well, we know what it tastes like. It tastes like grocks. No, I can't add my own thing. I hope we encounter Mega Ultra Chicken. <laughs> I hope we encounter Robot Chicken. Hey. Uh... That's what happens after uh, Varus gets his Mechadendrites on it. Guilty paranoia. Oh, you've got better things than me. Is initiative in this also D10 plus your agility modifier? Yes. Or? Okay. 
plus whatever initiative bonuses you get. I don't think I get any. Oh, we all rolling them, all right. Are we not? Wow. Yeah, the scale is a bit off for this. Come at me, space chicken. It's at this point where I wish I had dual wielding and I could go hell pistol and last pistol. Pew pew. Those are my rank two dreams. I'm not ambidextrous either. So I can't. Swap what you want to easy. do hmm? is go ambidextrous, gunslinger, hip shooting. That'd be brilliant. Except that one of those doesn't exist in this. Honestly. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, it's your turn. My turn? Okay. And the thing is, I messed up the scale on this, so I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing at this point. Do my uh, service call get a turn? I mean, I figured that would be my turn, but, you know. Ah, those tokens are brilliant. <laughs> yes, they are. And I, I, is it just combat outside that is there anything happening inside the cave? There are stuff happening in the cave, but I figure we resolve combat outside first because that would probably be over first because they have a movement rating of 18 and you have a range of effective range of what 180. So yeah. you're probably going to kill them before they get into range to hurt you. Okay. Well, to save all that bullshit, you just want to say we killed them. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm having fun shooting some space chickens outside. Yeah, the service call is helping out. And the red shirts are just wondering what the hell I'm shooting at. Yeah. Uh, I'll say though, the one of the space chickens managed to fly over to the fish and grab it by its talons and fly off with it. Oh, is that all they wanted? Yeah. Oh, well. But they were positioned in a way that they had to fly towards you to get it, get the fish. How, like, fast are they? Uh, the flying speed is 18. Oh, well, then my uh, service goal is going to hunt them down. Alright, so, <laughs> as the, the, the bird is uh, holding the fish fish creature by its talon and flying off over the forest. We see your reserve was called just buzzing after it and shooting it with this laser. Wait, uh, is it its trait is fly flyer eighteen? Okay, then I Yeah, so they are slow as all hell. Well they're twice as fast as our red shirts. Well, well, they fly. I didn't know red shirts could fly. It depends how quickly we put them in the torpedo bay. True that. Alright, uh, in the cave. There are something sinister going on. Yeah. We've effectively set up a firing line at the moment. Yep, and can I still roll for that concealment? To try to hide behind the rock while having my gun aimed at wherever it, uh, the sound is coming from? Yeah, it's a pretty expansive cave system down there. 
So it's hard to tell, but there is definitely something coming towards the entrance. Whoa. Fuck. That's a hundred. GG. You're doing well with them tonight. Yep, all rows have been perfect. So... That's a thing? Yes. So... Let me ask you this then, because I honestly haven't planned for this shit. I'm just improvising as we go along, and it's honestly not working at all. So, do you go and hunt for it, or do you wait for it to come to you? At the moment, I'm waiting to see if it comes to us. Yeah, I think I'd probably wait for like a minute or two, and if it doesn't show up and the others aren't moving, I might move forward. All right. Yeah, it, you don't hear any noise from it anymore. Whether it's because it okay. has stopped or it's because it's concealed, you don't know. Because you can't see it. In that case, I'll push forward. I was going for uh, bio signatures. Um, are you in the cave? Yes. Alright. Uh, is it... What the hell is it? The the walls, like how thick do they have to be to um, interfere? I can look that up. Fifty centimeters thick. Yeah, so basically you won't be able to find it because this is, uh, you know, half meter, like a meter thick rock uh, walls in the cave, right. in the tunnel system. But yeah, as you go exploring the cave, you do find the nest where a tiger-like creature, this is um, probably like a hundred meters or so into the cave, you do find a nest with, uh, it has a bunch of bones and, you know, dead small creatures. And you do find a um, a an animal roughly resembling a tiger but a bit bigger uh, appears to be in labor pains and that's the thing that's been uh, growling and and uh, making the noise down here well before it, so it sounds in pain yes labor mercy pain, killing so, yep uh since I'm first in the initiative, I'm just shooting my hell pistol. Alright, you kill You're it. You're shooting your hell pistol at a pregnant tiger. Yep. Yes. You it's in pain. Here's the thing, here's birth. the thing. If it was me personally, I would just sit there and watch. But my yeah. character would just shoot it. And shoot it in the stomach area so that the head would be preserved. For, uh, yeah, for Make trophy sure you get reasons. one of its pinky tools as well. Uh, yes, that is another <laughs> thing. Uh, question, um, how close am I to it? Um, probably within short, maybe not as close as point blank. So for uh, the help pistol is 35 meters. Right? Yeah, yeah so you're, short would you're be... within 10 meters of it. Okay, uh, that's it. I need to get out the handout. Yeah, you don't have to roll for it. We just say you kill it. You shoot it where you want to shoot it and it dies. Oh, okay. As I said, I haven't planned. This is completely improvised and obviously I ain't fucking having fun with this because I can't just come up with a, you know, improvise a combat encounter like this. I'm not that good of a GM to do that. So rather than just waste everyone's time, you kill the damn thing. When you have a vast cave system to explore, if you wish. Well, first I'm 
and start. Uh, I ask Macarius if he has a knife and start cutting off the head if he has one. Could have had that bit better. Even for you. Wait till it gives birth, then kill the mother, and then take the cubs as your own pets. I know. Like I said, <laughs> my, I myself would do that. My other characters would do that. This character, fuck no. This character could be Well, as none of the other command crew does it, one of the red shorts hand their uh, combat knife to you. So you can cut off the head. All right, I do so, and I attach it to my drop harness, it's just so I don't have to carry it. Excellent. You now have a, a dark tiger head. All right, that will make a beautiful mask later on. Mask. We're mounting it on the ship in the bridge hey it's my kill i do with it what i want <laughs> I'm gonna lady captain owns you he will do as she says lady captain can i keep this yes try not to be too distasteful thank you well just hollow it out get rid of the eyes maybe make a necklace out of the eyes and then i can just put it over my head okay well we do need to get blinged out i mean Wait, I do have a... Yeah, I have a scene of pair of cloaks. I basically have a base link's head on my shoulder. By the way, uh, I'm not sure like how devastating a help is. Liz. Would that like splatter the entire uh, no, lower it's more, um, more like piercing? Like a very thing. strong laser. Okay, in that case, I actually uh, try to do a C-section, see if any of the babies are still alive. You shot it in the stomach. There is no way in hell any of them would survive that. Okay. They're, they're a bit cooked, I suppose. Yeah. And even, like even, if they, even if the shot didn't shoot them directly, the heat wave from the shot would instantly cook them. All right. In that case, uh, I'll be happy with the hat. There's probably more of those kind of things around here. The whole cave where you are, a cave area where you are right now, stinks of burnt fur and blood. Lovely. Nice. I'll pop some sacred incense. Also, I do cut off the, the equivalent of a pinky. The left pinky. Left pinky, indeed. Fine, you have a, a pinky from a tiger, you have a fish stinger, and you have a tiger head. Indeed. Mm. I'm still waiting to feel the effects of whatever poison that fish might have. Probably gonna bite me in the ass later on. Well, I, I would say something, but that would be foreshadowing, and I'm not gonna do that. He's got, um... What what's the disease? Uh, 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 the bacteria that eats living flesh. Crotch rot. No, that's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Wanker's cramp. Uh, just a no. Everything is grim dark. No, uh, so you're in the cave. You have just cut off the head. Um, what do you do now? Well. And He's this... got necrotizing fasciitis. Yes, at this point Good you have been on. Land. At this point you have been on the planet for fourteen hours. You're. You, I think it's every, best we camp. Every one of you should roll me a toughness test to see if you take fatigue. Again. Yes. I'm going to fall unconscious. Well, that's not my fault. I've been having a lot of time oh, shooting pigeons. Actually. Put in my negative 10 at that point and actually passed. No. Holy shit, I passed as well. Did you pass last time? No. Well, then you passed by 0. 0.6 degrees, GG. No, I don't. I already added in the minus 10. Excellent. 
Wait, so did everyone that failed pass and everyone that passed fail? Looks like it. Yeah. Yep. Well, Except the for the red choice. So yeah, everyone oh, failed at one degree of fatigue. And yeah, so do, are you gonna camp here? Or are you heading back to the ship? Or calling the ship to I pick you up? I think we should camp here, because I want to explore these tunnels Same at here. some point. I mean, we could still call the ship here so that we actually have it close by, since we're in a clearing, like the cave is in a clearing, so might as well have it parked here. PC access, if nothing else. Yeah, I'm sure we have some cakes on the ship. Oh yeah, we still have bagels. And coffee. Yep. Sadly, the recap doesn't work like it does in Dark Heresy, so... No fatigue stays. Fatigue. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just buzz the ship, saying home in on the Vox signal and land in the clearing. Yeah, you get an affirmative response and and you wait, I guess. Um, is it right if I disappear because I got to be at work stupidly early tomorrow? Yeah, I think we're gonna call it here. If you guys want to explore the caves and stay on planet, then we might as well because I have nothing planned. Like this whole session was improvised because. This nothing of this I had planned. I had planned for you guys to do something entirely different, but you decided to fuck off here instead. Blame the captain. I just do the rogues. I'm blaming every one of you for this. Okay. Yeah, don't blame me. I feel like I'm the most. Uh... God, what's the word? Like I haven't done anything unexpected. You're the most innocent. I have literally done nothing at all for the first half of the uh, of the session, so second half I decided, yes, let's shoot things. Yeah, that's why I've not been doing anything this last half. I'm done with rolling. Fuck navigation. <laughs> More navigation. No. If you want to shoot warp things. It's stressful. You can be the navigator. We can swap. I'll happily be the crazy person that collects left toes. Left pinky, sorry. Yeah, uh, but, but I like that. <laughs> but it's yeah, not pleasing everyone. But yeah, guys, we're going to call it here. So thank you so much for watching. And we should be back next Thursday. This Thursday. Hopefully. Wait, XP? Uh, we do that off stream. Yeah. Okay. okay. In a moment. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next we see you next week. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.